How are you, Damien? How's things? How are you doing? Not too bad. Why I haven't done an ocean. Ronan. The Ronan, is it? Dara. Dara. Dara O'Flaherty. How are you getting on, Gerda? How are things, you Not too bad, no. How are things with you? Can I ask why you're here today? Huh? Can I ask why you're here today? We received a phone call there was someone in breach of the COVID-19 regulations. Okay, and uh, what's your business here then today? What's my business? How did that man determine that I was in breach of the COVID-19 regulations? Uh, we how did the man determine... We work, huh? we, we, we've all got jobs to do, you know? So how did that man determine I was in breach of the COVID-19 regulations? I told him clearly that I'm exempt from the regulation of wearing a mask. I don't require a medical cert. And you don't require, you can't ask me for the medical cert. And I actually do have a medical cert, but I'm not giving it to you. And I'm not telling you what's on it. And I'm telling you now that I do have a medical cert. Can you ask you to step off the bus, please? No. You can, why would you ask me to step off the bus? Why, 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 why are you here, officer? Because you're holding up the bus. But I'm not holding up the bus. He's holding up the bus. You're the three years on a job. What are you doing here? I've told you that I'm exempt from the regulations. Can you quote me the, the legislation that you're here under? What's the legislation that you're here under? Why, why are you here? What's the act of law that you're here under? Quote it to me. Health Act, 1948. Yeah, yeah, no. Quote the legislation or the regulation that you're here. I just have to know the act is in force. Right. No, I'm going to ask you to step off the bus. I haven't a notion. If you refuse to step off the bus, I'm going to enact Section 8 of Criminal Justice and Public Order Act. So you're going to use a Public Order Act to enforce the, the health regulations. Why don't you just arrest me under the regulations? I know. Can Why I explain to you? But you won't let me explain because you keep interrupting. Right. I'm going to explain to you. I'm, a, I've I'm told enforcing you. the Public Order Act. I've but, to excuse me, I'm trying to finish. I'm Why are you enforcing the Republic Order Act? You, you came here finish. under the regulation. I won't let you me said you, you, you told finish. me already. You won't let me finish. You told me already you came I'm here to, to enforce a regulation. You finish. No, I'm going to ask you You're contradicting yourself. Can you please? You're contradicting yourself, officer. Your behavior is inconsistent, officer. You said that you said that you you said that you came on here. If you fail or refuse to step off the bus, you are It's not a lawful order. It's yes, not a lawful order. Well, if you are failing to... This is not a law... Damien, you know that this is right. A fine of up to 3,000 euros and hours, three months. This is not a lawful right? order. That's my ask, okay? Uh, you, yeah. I'm, I'm exempt. I'm exempt. I have the cert. Yeah. I have a cert. Right? Right? Come out and show it to the... No, the no, there, you know no. What's going to happen here now in a minute. Uh, why, is that, why is that the, the way it's going? You're not on touch my camera. I'm recording evidence for the court. I'm recording... How are you, Damien? How's things? How are you doing? Not too bad. I haven't an ocean. Dara. Dara O'Flaherty. How are you getting on, Gerda? Things, Not right? too bad, no. How are things with you? Can I ask why you're here today? Huh? Can I ask why you're here today? We received a phone call there was someone in breach of the COVID-19 regulations. Okay, and uh, what's your business here then today? What's my business? How did that man determine that I was in breach of the COVID-19 regulations? Uh, we How did the man determine... We huh? We, we, we've all got jobs to do, you know? Yeah. So how did that man determine I was in breach of the COVID-19 regulations? I told him clearly that I'm exempt from the regulation of wearing a mask. I don't require a medical cert. And you don't require, you can't ask me for the medical cert. And I actually do have a medical cert, but I'm not giving it to you. And I'm not telling you what's on it. And I'm telling you now that I do have a medical cert. Can you ask you to step off the bus, please? No. You can, why would you ask me to step off the bus? Why, 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 why are you here, officer? Because you're holding up the bus. But I'm not holding up the bus. He's holding up the bus. You're the three years on a job. What are you doing here? I've told you that I'm exempt from the regulations. Can you quote me the, the legislation that you're here under? What's the legislation that you're here under? Why, why are you here? What's the act of law that you're here under? Quote it to me. Health Act, 1948. Yeah, yeah, no. Quote the legislation or the regulation that you're here. I just have to know the act is in force. Right. No, I'm going to ask you to step off the bus. I haven't a notion. If you fail or refuse to step off the bus, I'm going to enact Section 8 of Criminal Justice and Public Order Act 1994. So you're going to use a Public Order Act to enforce the, the health regulations. Why don't you just arrest me under the regulations? I know. Can Why I explain to you? But you won't let me explain because you keep interrupting. Right. I ain't going to explain to you. I'm, a, I've I'm told enforcing you. the Public Order Act. I've to excuse me, I'm trying to finish. I'm Why are you enforcing finish. the Republic Order Act? You, you came here under the regulation. I won't let you me said you, you, you you told me already. You won't let me finish. You I'm told not, me already you came here to enforce a regulation. Let me finish. No, I'm going to ask you You're contradicting yourself. Can you please? You're contradicting yourself, officer. Your behavior is inconsistent, officer. You said that you said that you you said that you came on here. If you fail or refuse to step off the bus, you are a It's not a lawful order. 
It's yes, not sir. a lawful order. Well, if you fail, you're if you failing. Step off the bus, this is not a law. Damien, you know that this is right. A fine of up to three thousand euros and hours three months. This is not a lawful right? order. That's my you're ask. Okay. Uh, you, yeah. I'm, I'm exempt. I'm exempt. I have the cert. I have a cert. Right? Well, come out and show it to the no, next no, there, you know no. What's going to happen here now in a minute. Uh, why is that? Why is that the way it's going? You're not on touch my camera. I'm recording evidence for the court. I'm recording. So I've just been released from a Garda station in Galway, uh, in Remore, uh, for breaching COVID-19 regulations. Uh, sorry, I was arrested under the Public Order Act, of course. Not actually anything to do with uh, COVID-19 regulations. Uh, the Garda failed to give me a lawful order. So what he done was he, he manufactured an offence under the Public Order Act. He gave me an unlawful order to get off a bus. He had no reason to, to get me uh, to order me to get off the bus. Um, his job um, is made a lot easier with this act, which they are using all over Ireland to intern Irish people. I made a video about that. Um, uh, Andy Heesman's arrest in 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 Knock, uh, a month ago. I have to say, Andy handled his arrest a lot better than I did. Um, uh, the object would be to draw this out as much as possible, gather as much evidence as you can. Uh, go live on Facebook. Go live on YouTube. So what I would say is. I, I'd suggest, it's a, a suggestion, yeah, uh, get yourself a day saver ticket tomorrow or whatever day and uh, hop on a bus with no mask and if if the bus drivers, uh, in my case the bus driver actually drove the bus to the police station, <laughs> oh, oh my god, uh, actually drove the bus to Renmore police station and and had me arrested you know um so i i suggest uh um getting on the bus with your day saver ticket you can spend all day every day doing this for 24 hours if you like and uh get the guard the guard will come and they'll say you're a breacher of the regulations like they do in this video i'm about to show you and uh, uh then they're going to say they're going to enforce the public order act which he clearly used the Public Order Act to enforce another set of unconstitutional laws because he didn't, he, he knew that the, the, the laws were unconstitutional and they would be challenged in court and easily defeated. So he invoked a Public Order Act offence and he breached the peace. Uh, he dragged me off the bus. They hurt me. They hurt my arm. I had a dislocated shoulder a number of months ago and they dragged me around by the handcuffs and you know the usual carry on that um, ignorant, arrogant um, Irish police uh, conduct themselves with. Uh, handcuffs are supposed to be used to restrain your hands. They're not supposed to be used to manipulate your body. You know, he was manipulating my body using the handcuffs and it has wrenched my shoulder yet again and um I'm, I'm in pain with it um i have to say the doctor that came in to visit me i asked for always ask for a lawyer and a doctor when you're getting arrested get the lawyer to preserve the cameras i asked uh, mr gilmartin in galway to uh, uh preserve the cameras he he seemed more intent on, on on giving me information about my arrest than following my instructions you know it seemed like he was there to um um I don't know, put the Garda's side to me, you know. No, I, I, I don't want to um, uh, impugn the man, but it, I had to issue the instructions three times to him to get them to preserve the cameras on the bus, in the back of the van, and at the Garda station. Now, I have to say, all in all, the Garda were pretty all right about it, uh, other than the manhandling with the, with the, with the handcuffs, with their just... They just do that normally, like that's their their modus operandi. Um, he he he. Um, but generally speaking, the Gardaí, um they don't seem like they want to enforce these laws. To be honest, you know. So don't do what I done. Don't don't talk over the Garda. That was a mistake I made. Uh, not not that it, it's not a legal issue, but it it it. Like when they come in around me, what you don't see in the video is that there's there's three Gardaí around me and they're very big men and and they're it's very intimidating you know so this is the first uh, breach of the peace is because these men were using their physical presence to intimidate me which was which is if you feel intimidated if someone makes you feel intimidated that's assault so these men used their physical they had no they had no basis for doing that 
in that they came to enforce a regulation and la at a later stage, after using their physical presence, presence to intimidate me, at a later stage they manufactured the, the crime. Um, so at the time they were talking to me, encroached around me, intimidating me, the, intimidating me with their physical presence, there was no crime. So they shouldn't have been doing that. And, and that heightened my hackles, you know. Um, it's, 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 you know, it was a small space and there was three Gardaí encroaching on top of me, you know, their shadows were on top of me and it, it was very, very intimidating. Um, I don't react well to physical intimidation. You may have noticed over the, over the, um, over the years, I guess. Um, so the mistakes I made, I, I, again, I shouldn't have allowed their physical presence to intimidate me. I shouldn't have allowed, um, uh, the Garda to invoke a Public Order Act when there had been no breach of the Public Order Act up until the point he gave me an unlawful order. So the, under the Public Order Act, a Garda can give you a lawful order to leave the area or to do something, you know, but the order itself has to have a lawful cause. He had no lawful cause to give me that order. So a Garda can't just come up to you and say, go over there or go up there or climb that tree or go down there and drive the car. Or he, he can't, he, Garda's, police can't just tell you to do things. Um, they have to have a reason, a lawful reason for telling you to do the thing. And he had no lawful cause to be there. I do have an exemption. I have multiple exemptions. I have a concussion that's a lifetime injury. I, I, when I wear the mask, I get my throat dries out and I start coughing. Like, if, if the mask causes me to cough, what's the point of wearing the mask? And now I'm spreading my germs by coughing, you know? And so, you know, and I was actually off work for the three days there because I, I hurt myself. I gave myself another head injury at work. Um, I, I actually have the medical cert and I couldn't show it to the Garda because I was recording the evidence for the court and the medical cert was on my phone. It was sent to me by my doctor from my doctor's email address and, you know, it would be quite straightforward to show it to him, except that I'm not required to show it to him and I was felt a greater need to record the evidence. So I, I'll just play the video for you now. It's quite short. Um, oh yeah, just re to reiterate that, what I would like our brave patriots to do is to go out and buy a day saver ticket and spend your days getting on buses and getting off buses and getting on buses until you get arrested under the public order act and record it and send it put it out there they have no right to drag you off a bus because you're not wearing a mask none of them do they have no right to be stopped on the bus they have no right to drive you to the police station they have no right to do anything to you because you're not wearing a mask and that's what these guardy done and uh, I had a lovely conversation with an elderly man on the bus who was wearing his mask and uh, he totally agreed with me and he, he, he was basically wearing the mask because he'd been he'd been uh, coached into wearing it but I did explain to him um, that I, I feel that he was impugning his his immune system by not interacting with the microbiome and he, he also uh, he took that point on board you know we have to keep coaching our, our immune systems or they will get overwhelmed you know if we allow the germs to get too far ahead of our immune systems then that germ is dangerous it could be any germ so the, the importance of not wearing a mask is that you engage the microbiome that you co keep coaching your immune system and I explained this to the elderly man and he, he was so he was so scared you know not not by me but just by the whole thing but he has been watching a man called Dr. John Campbell. Now, I haven't watched any of his, of his videos, but I did immediately look up his channel when, when the gentleman um, uh, pointed him out to me, because if I don't, if I don't look it up straight away, I, I forget about it. So I, I did immediately uh, go and, and, and look at the man's channel. And it does, the title of his video are very, quite encouraging. And uh, now the man also agreed with me. He, he, he said, why haven't they been telling us to eat fresh vegetables and take good multivitamins and, you know, improve your immune system. And it's the number one cure for the coronavirus. It cures 99.9% of cases. The only cure is your immune system. It's not rocket science, politicians. It's not rocket science, RTE. Tell the Irish people to improve their immune systems by taking vitamins, you big lousy. F you can see what I mean about not handling this well. 
So I hope you handle it better than I did. And I hope you post it directly live onto YouTube, Facebook, wherever you can. Uh, send it to me. I'll post it, you know. Um, fair play to you, Andy. Uh, um, I, I, I realize I made a criticism uh, when you were when you were getting arrested and um, you, you done a, a far better job than I did. And I hope uh, anybody watching this is going to do a better job than I did of gathering the evidence. And um, best of luck, lads. Best of luck. And uh, God damn it, bus drivers! I'm telling you, you're doing the wrong thing. If if that bus driver, if that bus driver wasn't wearing his mask, so he was using his exemption to not wear a mask, but he refused to respect my exemption for not wearing a mask. And where is the breakout in the Irish Gardaí? How is it that the Irish Gardaí, you see them a nod time wearing masks when, when the cameras and when our cameras are on them. But there was no one wearing masks in the police station. They haven't been wearing masks going around in the vans. They haven't been wearing masks going around in the cars. They've been interact, interacting with members of the public over all of this lockdown. Why isn't there a major breakout in, of COVID-19 in the Irish Gardaí? So now then they'll test them with the PCR test and, and, um, they'll all show positive for coronavirus because everybody shows positive for the coronavirus we've all had the coronavirus the coronavirus has been around for millions of years it's been affecting the dinosaurs you know anyway i'll, I'll, I'll cut in the other video now yeah